So now in this video we are going to look how the asset tracking of IntelliFinet really works. What do we need for asset tracking? First of course we need assets like the servers here which we have mounted in a rack. We need a client connected to the IntelliFinet server. We need a cell phone to scan the asset tags and of course we need the asset tags themselves. How do we generate these asset tags? We have in the IntelliFinet application a labeling portal included where you can select one of several Avery templates. You can say how many labeling sheets you want and the portal will automatically generate a set of labels for you which you can then print out or save it as a PDF and print it on a standard laser printer. You might ask how many different labels are available with IntelliFinet. We use so-called UUIDs to tag the assets and the UUID is in 128-bit number. So this leaves enough different asset tags for all molecules in the known universe and even a trillion, trillion, trillion tags per molecule. So for sure there is enough available labels in IntelliFinet. Now the first thing of course is to tag the assets and register them on the IntelliFinet server. This can be done when you receive the goods in the warehouse or you can do it after installation. So let's mount an asset tag on the first server. An asset tag on server number two. An asset tag on server number three. Server number four. And server number five. In the IntelliFinet software, I have already built up a model which resembles these five servers. So you see here server 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Now let's register the tags here and put them into, associate them with the correct servers. For this we need our cell phone. We see here the tree view. This cell phone is also connected to the IntelliFinet server. In the tree we also see the servers 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So let's move to the first server. We register the server by scanning its asset tag. Server 2, that's the one here. Server 3, you see this just takes a couple of seconds for every server, number 4, and number 5. Okay, registration is done. The asset tag numbers have already been uploaded to the IntelliFinet server. So we can, for instance, check them here in the quick details view. Here we have an asset tag, a different one here, different one here, different one here, 
and a different one here. Registration is now completed. The first application, which we can do using the mobile app, is to search for assets. So say if you want to have some information about this server. We are in the data center, we want to know how the server is called, its IP address, its technical data. So we can just scan the tag and we see immediately now server one sitting in U34. Front, we can show its properties, like the exact name, weight, dimensions, power consumption, and so on. And we can also locate it in the tree of the, in the tree representation of Interdefinite. Like here server one, and we also see all the ports which are available on this server. So like this, now we have tagged each of these assets individually and we can already locate them using the mobile app. Now let's do an audit of this rack. For an audit, what happens is we open the asset tracking menu and here we have a section for audit requests. Let's have a look at the audit requests. Let's add a new one. We call this Demo Audit 1. An audit is just like an envelope. We have now to say what we want to audit within this audit request. So let's add a single rack. If you see the entire tree infrastructure we have on the server, we are sitting down here, asset tracking, rack A01. Obviously, we could also add other racks to the same audit, or we could add an entire data center in a single operation. Okay, this is it on the IntelliFinet. Signed audit request has been created. Now we send somebody with his cell phone. He goes to the data center, connected to the IntelliFinet server, and we go to audits. And we see now here the demo audit one is ready. It has been created on the server. We can download this demo audit one. Auditing works offline, so we don't have to have a connection, a live connection to the server uh, while we are doing the audit. Let's get started. A01, the rack to be audited. We see now the rack elevation and everything in the rack is grayed out, which means it has not yet been recognized. Let's start with the auditing. Again, scanner. First one has been recognized. We take the second one. We can also do several audits with a single operation without having to confirm each and every audit. Now everything has been audited and you see all of these devices here um, not grayed out anymore. This ends the first audit. We can upload the audit to the server and finish the audit. You see, just scanning all these devices is everything we need. Now we have here our audit and we can check the results. So in this audit, five assets, 100% have been matched. And we also get the list of these matched assets, server one, two, three, four, five. There's no unmatched assets, no misplaced assets, no unknown assets which we have scanned. So this is the normal case. You see a rack like this, it takes just like a minute or so to audit each and everything in the rack. Now let's make some changes. One thing is, we are going to move 
this server to the other rack. So we change the documentation physically. This guy is still here. Another change you're going to make is we remove one server. Let's remove this one here and put the blind plate. And now let's do a second audit to see what has changed. Okay, new audit request. Now again, we do the same procedure as before. Moving to direct to be audited. We go to our smartphone, we refresh the screen. You see now Demo Audit 2 has been created. Let's download it for auditing. Let's start the audit, A01. Let's start scanning. The first one we can scan is here. Okay. You see, we have now the second server, the first one we couldn't order because it has been removed. Let's go through the other ones. So, we are done. We can now add a note that this first server seems to be missing. For each other we can add a limited number of nodes. So let's note here. We could also add a voice note or add like a picture of the rack. And now we are finished with our audits. We can upload the audits. It is finished here on the cell phone. And here we see now the results of our audits. And you see now here the differences. Three servers have been reported correctly. Like these three. One has been misplaced, that's the one which I pulled over, like the one here, I pulled over in the other rack. And one is just simply missing or not matched, which is the one here. And again, we can also get all of the details, the matched assets, server 2, 3 and 4. The unmatched one, the missing one is server 1, which has been covered by the blind plate. And the misplaced one, is server 5. If we want to know where the server 5 is, we can just open the rack to see where the server is in the documentation on the IntelliFinet server. This concludes today's short demonstration of the asset tracking functions built into IntelliFinet.